before and look like the illegitimate child of Tony Shalhoub and Steve Buscemi if they named me McLovin. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, I don't look like your bed. <laughs> uh, I'm glad everyone can hear me. The last gig I did, actually, uh, no one told me the only way for people to hear you was if you deep-throated the mic. <laughs> Perfectly horizontal. <laughs> and they said you had to hold it exactly in the center. Weirdest instructions I've ever heard for a deep throat. <laughs> and what's sad is no one even told me during my stand-up. They told me after I did karaoke. <laughs> like that was when it was important for people to hear me. <laughs> Trust me, as someone who's lived with this voice for his entire life, and you who have been exposed for about a minute, we all probably know that is not the time you want to hear me. <laughs> Uh, this is actually the first time I'm performing comedy for an actual comedy club. Woo! Don't applaud, you have no idea what you're getting into. <laughs> uh, I've actually done plenty of other venues, though. Um, first time I did comedy was for my open mic at the university. Uh, university Northern Colorado, because why is that important? Um, it's hard to gauge how well I did, though, because you realize how easy it is to make college students laugh. I think those guys are having a good time over there already. <laughs> no, it's so easy to make college students laugh. That's why there are three Harold and Kumar movies. <laughs> That's the franchise that Hollywood was so uncomfortable casting two ethnic leads, they decided to make the cast a white. <laughs> That's a little fucked up. <laughs> The time after that, it was for some weird religious talent show I did stand up. They pulled me aside before I went on the stage and were like, what's your dirtiest joke? <laughs> there are two of them asked me this. One of you, Martha Stewart, who based off my impression should probably get checked for a lung disorder. <laughs> and just some random preteen. Like she was just there to guilt me when they asked me this question. Uh, weird Martha Stewart den mother lady? Uh, what's a deep throat? <laughs> Don't listen, Brittany. It's blasphemous. Besides, I'm pretty sure he doesn't know either. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the time after that, it was actually for open mic in my community college. I know, it feels like I'm backtracking, but university, then community college. I'm an English major. <laughs> That actually went rather well, I think, but based off all the glazed looks in the audience and the Dwayne Johnson size punch bowl in the back, either everyone was stoned or I performed for a cult. <laughs> <laughs> if I saw one be Martha Stewart there, I would have been able to confirm. <laughs> and then we're back to the weird office party, the last gig I did, where they had weird guidelines for gripping phallic objects. <laughs> and now I'm here. Performing for all of you. I know I'm the last, last one of the night. You want to go to bed. If you take anything away from tonight, I hope it's a smile, forgetting that guy that said suck a dick or whatever it was. <laughs> and just knowing you're a good person, an amazing person, and I love you. But like, as a friend, we just met. Let's make this awkward. <laughs> That's my time. Thank you very much.